everyone, welcome to week four of NAB AFL Auskick at home. Coming to you today on a Sunday, because yesterday was Anzac Day. Hey, why are you guys eating biscuits? <laughs> because it's Anzac Day. Anzac Day, Anzac biscuits, what? <laughs> well, you better hurry up and finish though, so we can start our warm up. No! Chomp them down. Yeah. All right, let's start the warm up. It was your turn last week, it's my turn this week. Running on the spot. Running on the spot. All right. You guys are faster than me. I'm going to try and do that fast. <laughs> Good job, Will. Oh, I did see my dog. All right, five push ups. One. Put it in my mouth. No. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, you're going to do them with one arm <laughs> so you can hold your cookie. That's good. <laughs> good job, Will. Stretch. Quad stretch. Get our legs ready for kicking. Legs well, ready for kicking. Make sure the ball ready, like Practice. All right. Let's do some footy ninja. So let's balance on one leg. Easy. One leg will. Let's have a challenge kicking ball first. Then on one leg, can you do that? Then on the other leg, you're going to fall first. Oh, oh. 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 Put his in the air. On the ground. Up. Oh, I like that. You can throw it up. On the ground. On the ground. Throw it up. Figure eight. All right, figure eight. Through the legs. Through the legs, Will. Round your waist now, round the world. Round the world, round the world. Yeah, he's more far. All right, ready? Ready, let's have a race, two, three. One, two, three. One. I did five. How are you doing, Will? That's great, Will, well done. Okay, we practiced our bounces last week, so let's revisit that. So remember, we want to bounce the ball nice and straight. We want to hit the end of the ball so it bounces back to us. But we want to push it out in front of us, not next to us, because if you do it next to us, the ball will go behind. Yeah, that's it. Show me, James. So out in front. Right out in front of you. Yes. Okay. Go a little bit further out in front. Do it. Well, can you keep trying? I'm going to practice your bounces. Oh, you're doing figure eights. Okay, and then once you've got, once you've practiced that, then you can start to practice doing it on the run. And you want to keep doing it out in front of you, because when you run, you're going to catch up to the ball. Okay, so we're practicing our kicks. So what we want to do is, we've been practicing kicking it really straight and dropping it really straight. Now we want to practice getting it to spin properly. So spinning backwards like that. So we're going to drop it on its end, hit the middle of our foot. And if we drop it nice and straight, all should spin backwards. So we're going to practice kicking it up to ourselves to start to get it spinning properly. Yeah, like this. Oh, that was a good spin, eh? You just kicked it a little bit far. Try oh, kicking it up and catching it. Good. Oh, man. You don't have to kick it too high. Just little kicks. Oh, close. I got money. Try again. Get it? Oh, great effort. Good try. Let's try practice doing it to a partner again. Okay, now we've done that, we're kicking to ourselves. Now we're going to go out and start kicking it to a partner. So you can go back a little bit further. We're going to practice back and forth to each other, still trying to get that nice spin. Let's practice. Great work. That was that spun beautifully in the air. Yes, Will. That's done. Do some marks. Do some marks next. Nice. Right, that's really good, buddy. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, big one. Wow, really good. I remember, straight drop, straight onto your foot, Mother. and you want it to spin backwards. Keep practicing on getting that ball spinning nicely. 
Okay, well, I know this is your favourite. We're going to do some marks now, so we'll get rid of your hat. So, remember we practised last week jumping off one leg. So we want to run, we want to take off from one leg, drive our knee with the other leg, so we can get both of our arms up to catch the ball. So let's practise that, James. So we're going straight into speckies this week, no mucking around. Righto, James, nice and high, one leg. Good. Okay, Will, your turn. Yes. James, back this way. Yeah, all right. Your turn, Will. All right, Will. Big one this time. Big Specky. Yeah. Oh, almost. Highest. Highest. We can do it. Jump right up. Oh, that is a Specky. Yeah. Oh. Just, it goes looking for contact. Love it. Good job. Now we're going to do one, but we're going to take a specky on daddy. So I'm going to hold the ball up like this. You're going to run and jump into me. Take a specky. Sorry, dads and mums at home. Fair chance of losing a kidney here, I think. Ready? Get the ball. Don't worry about me. Oh! oh. <laughs> Get the ball. That's a free kick. So when you're running in and you're taking your mark, you don't want to be looking at the other player, you want to be looking at the ball. So eyes on the ball the whole way. Run in and launch and jump for the ball. No. Eyes for the ball. There you go. Excellent. Your turn, Will. You get the ball. Oh! What a mark. Yeah, I'm going to start. Yeah! Well done. Okay, it's obstacle course time again, similar to last week. So we're going to run a couple laps around the tree. You can run around anything you've got at home. Jump on a couple platforms. We've just got cushions from the outdoor furniture. So jump, jump, and then we're doing a commando roll on the mat. Handball in the bucket, get it out, and then kick to the target. You can kick it at a tree, you can kick it to your parent, you can kick it to your brother or sister, whatever you want at home. So, that's what you need. Let's get into it. Two laps around the tree to start. One lap. And go. Jumps. Mando roll. Yeah, handball in. Oh, now hit, hit for the target. Oh, so close. Your turn, Will. Go. Good boy, jump on the things. Good, roll. Roll on the mat. <laughs> Good job. Handball in the bucket. Good, now kick it at the tree. Whoa, Will, well done. Okay, in other weeks we've gone and we've done a skill of a special player, so we've done Brody Grundy's, we've done Buddy Franklin's last week that we did. Dusty Martin. This week we've got a special guest that's gonna take us for a drill. So why don't you pass the footy to our special guest, James? Go on, pass it to him. Great kick, James. Hi, I'm Jack Reebok from the Richmond Football Club and today I'm gonna take you through something that I'm okay at, a bit of goal kicking. So we're all stuck at home at the moment, so and we don't have goalposts in our front yard. But what we do have is something that could be goalposts for me. I'm using, oh, I'm going to use my gate here today. So I'm kicking goals from out the front here. Eddie Betts dribble kicks, Josh Kennedy goals like that, and maybe a few check sides as well. So if you can have anything. You can have gates. You can set up some seats. Anything that resembles goals. So first things first, let's do the basic kick in AFL at having a shot. And that is the drop part. So it's most important that when I've got my ball in my hands, I am pointing the lace and that little knobbly bit which you blow the ball up right at the top of the goal umpire's head. I haven't got a goal umpire today, so I'm going to point it right at the middle. I'm going to line it all the way up to my goals. Making sure my finger next to my ring, my ring finger next to my pinky is on the line there of your ball. Nice and straight. Coming in. Guide it all the way down to your foot and go. Well, there you go, one from one. 
don't think I've kicked this well in a game before, actually, but the next kick we're going to do is another one of my favourites, the snap. So I'm a right footer, so I'm going to be dropping the ball, having the, my hand on the ball like that, right hand there, and the left hand cradling it underneath so that when it comes down to my foot, I've still got this part of my ball here pointing to where I want it to go, right over the top of the goal umpire there so I can get it to spin. But it's important that I've got it pointing up a little bit too so I can really hit it and get that turn. All right, here we go. New rules, a ladder coming off the goalpost. Another goal. So that's two from two. Got the snap there up in the air. Sometimes though, when you're running to the, running to the boundary, you want to do that Eddie Betts dribble goal. So I've got my boundary here. I don't want to go over the concrete. I've still got my goal. I'm holding it exactly the same as when I held my snap there. But this time, I'm just going to drop it a little bit lower. Hopefully get it to scoot around through those goals. Here we go. Run into the boundary. Golski, Eddie Betts would be happy with that one. Well, there you go. Three from three. I'm pretty happy with my work today. Just remember, that you don't have to have a set of goals at home. You can have a doorway, you can do this inside. I'm giving you permission, even though your parents might not, but you go out, use your imagination to find a set of goals and practice every type of kick, the three we've seen today, plus have a go at some new ones as well. So I'm gonna throw this back to Nick, James, and Will. You ready? Here it comes. Oh, good catch. How cool is that? Thanks for that, Jack. Awesome work. Hope you all enjoyed that. All right, boys. You guys have earned these. Here, Will. Oh, here you go, James. Here, Will. Here's your Anzac biscuit. Here's your Anzac biscuit. What do you reckon? Should we give Jack one? Should we give Jack one? All right. There you go, Jack. Eat that. Oh, there we go. Oh, nearly in the garden. Anzac biscuits. My favourite. I might go bake some of these myself. <laughs> Here we go. So we're all enjoying our Anzac biscuits. Jack's chomping on his. He loves it. We've had a good day, haven't we? Yes. Bye, everyone. See you next week, everyone. Bye. Nav AFL Oz kick at home. We hope you've had fun. <laughs>